Hello, guideposts. My name is Dr. Paula Kaufman Sherman. I'm a psychologist and author of Dating from the Inside Out, and I'm a relationship expert, and I'm very happy to be here today to answer your questions. Some people tell me that they fall in love too quickly and they move too quickly with someone they meet, and then they don't end up meeting the right person, and they're kind of stuck and have to begin all over again. So one thing I advise is to take things really slowly to keep being yourself, to keep living your life. If you go to yoga class, if you see your friends regularly, see your family, just begin by seeing someone once a week. And even if you have all kinds of feelings and you feel very romantic and intense about the person, that's great. I know you would like to go over there every single day, but just try to be grounded about it because if it's the right person for you, then it'll work out anyway. And if not, at least that you can see the forest from the trees if you're you know, living your real life and slowly letting that person become part of it. Another thing I would say about that is it is good, and this is very hard for sometimes for women, but to keep dating other people in the beginning for a few months. Uh, because what I often find is that, uh, let's say women, sometimes men, just are tired of dating and they really want a relationship. So if the person's cute and seems kind of nice, they just really want to make it into a relationship, date number two or three, just to be done with it and kind of seal the deal. And it's very human to want that. But then what happens is then, you know, it doesn't feel quite right and you're trying to force it and fix it and rush it. And it puts a lot of pressure on the relationship. It's hard to really see how things evolve over time. And then you need to start all over again anyway. But if you kind of date other people and do it slowly, then you can see who's right for you, who isn't, and not get attached right away and kind of use your heart and your head.